But um, as I did mention in the beginning, we do want to talk about dealing with rejection and how men specifically can begin to deal with rejection. And joining me on the show, I have Benjamin Zulu, of course, who's a clinical psychologist. Karibu sana to the show once again. Thank you. So rejection obviously is, is hard for everyone. You're right. But with, with men, it, mm. it seems to, it can really break a man. Yeah. Yeah. Tell, tell us why. Uh, thank you, Jace, for this opportunity to speak to our brothers. Number one, not all men struggle with rejection. Mm. We have already said that rejection to human, anybody, is painful. But today we are talking about those who are not able to cope with it. Mm. Uh, not all men are unable to cope with rejection. The men who are unable to cope with rejection have this common traits. Number one, they have hypersensitivity to rejection. Okay. Hypersensitivity. Even the thought that they'll be rejected in future, there is no sign of it, but even the thought of it yeah. makes them feel pain. That's first characteristic. They are hypersensitive, extremely sensitive to being rejection, rejected. And the other one is that they have poor self-regulation. Mm -hmm. Poor self-regulation means they frequently start sulking and you have to babysit them to bring them back to normal. Uh, he frequently loses, loses his temper, mm. poor self-emotional regulation, loses his temper and some of, the, some of them are not, they even say that Nick on a bad temper and they're not doing anything to grow up right. and they frequently start sulking and that you have to babysit them back again. Yeah. And, and, and then we, we also have uh, the, the attribute of have they experienced violence in their growing? Have they experienced violence or being overwhelmed emotionally? So their childhood experience should be brought to play. Those are the attributes of men who will be unable to withstand a rejection. Mm. Yeah. And uh, so you've already mentioned that some of the things that sort of spring out of this are bad tempers. Yes. What are some of the other things that sort of manifest themselves in how men who are unable to deal with rejection, how do they sort of manifest those emotions? Um, Sorry, let me add this about biases. It will come up later, but these three attributes should be at the top of our minds. If you want to know this man cannot, or me as a man, I can't stand rejection and I need help, is to know that, one, that you have hypersensitive to rejection. Number two, you have poor self-control, poor self-regulation emotionally. Number three, you believe in the biases that men are not emotional. Men should be strong. Men should be in control. Men, those three attributes, if you have them, most likely you are likely to do something drastic in the case of a rejection by a woman. Uh, you have asked about what we should tell, uh, whether, whether the signs that yeah. a man is uh, excessive. One is if he is very possessive, uh, so much that he wants to uh, be knowing everything about you at every time. Uh, if he is so intrusive, um, n n an, a healthy man would not want to get into your phone just because you are in a relationship, to get mm. into your handbag, to get into your friends, to know everything about you. That's not, so that, those are subtle signs, although you can mistake them for concern and care. He yeah. must courage them like he ameku means, he just cares, he mm. just wants to know you are okay. But it's he, actually unhealthy. Yes, that's unhealthy. A healthy man will find out, but you will not feel investigated. You will yeah. not feel him like he's creepy. Mm -hmm. You don't feel like he's taking you as a child. You don't feel uh, intruded into. Yeah. So that's one sign. The other one you have said, if he loses his fits of rage, uh, the other thing is, instead of, instead of the, uh, love is, love as a contrast. Love involves freedom. You should love people so much. When I, I love my woman so much, I love my wife so much, there's an attribute in that love. Apart from wanting to be with her, I should also be wanting to let her be free and enjoy life. Mm -hmm. So does he want you to be happy? Do you see const, uh, definite effort? Like letting you have some time with your friends, letting you enjoy and all that. If you don't see him trying to make you happy, Right. You should be you should be alarmed. Okay. Yeah. Well, the truth is, um, as we've mentioned again several times already, um, is that women have become a lot more empowered, which yeah. is a great thing. Yeah. Um, and so you find women have are taking on very senior roles. Correct. Uh, they are bringing in the bacon, or at least contributing to yeah. the financial stability of the home. Yeah. Sometimes even more than the man, yeah. sometimes for a season, or yeah. maybe permanently so. And um, I guess it's very important for us to, because I, I feel like that is actually a root cause of a lot of these sensitivities mm. and a lot of those feelings that begin to sprout up in men that are insecure in Correct. themselves. Correct. So, 
when you talk about what we usually classify as male dominant mm. or roles or what the man should be doing mm. you know it's providing yeah. it's protecting yeah. proving it's his just power. proving his power yeah. um but now when we're in a society where a lot of those things like providing mm. which is huge for men right. are sort of being challenged yeah. uh, because you know women are also rising up and it's not like women are doing it in a negative way why why can't we just agree that this is ours yeah. like we're doing it together but yeah. why why is it so important for the man to feel like Joyce, that's important. There's a lot of shift in the roles. And men, we have inherited this belief that to be a man, I should be the one paying bills, should be the one providing. Uh, we'll talk next time, but we also have a crop of other men who, who, who come from the other end of yeah. being too much mothered, expecting to be paid. But no, mm -hmm. in, on, the, on the general scale, on the general scale, when men lose financial power, it's very destabilizing. But there's a solution. There is something... Even when your woman is getting millions, there's something she cannot buy. There's something she cannot give herself. There's one thing you can do and be, remain relevant in her life. And that thing is love. Give her emotional, you know, emotional food, so to speak. If you, if, if you can be there for her, make her feel good, supported, the emotional realm cannot be bought with money. Mm. I tell men, the only thing that you can replace, you, you, you make you irreplaceable in your woman's life, is love. Yeah. Men don't also know this. Sometimes wakikosana na bibi wanaenda na pesa kule nje thinking they can buy uh, the same thing they get at home. You can't. You can get sex out there. But yeah, you never yeah. get acceptance, validation, being loved, being somebody believing in you, somebody accommodating your nonsenses. You know the reason mipango ya kando the attractive is you only see them within a window of time. Yeah. Shortly. Tufanyi kitu na tuende. If you are to stay with them, the same nonsenses <laughs> that made you, you know, run away will come up here also. Yeah. So part of it is to tell men that don't depend, usi, usi don't minimize your influence over your woman to finances. That mm. will change. Mm -hmm. I am so afraid that I'm trying to work very hard, me too, so that my wife does not overtake me financially. Mm -hmm. But let me be realistic. Uh, if she's this focused and stable and the society is so much open to women, you're getting so many high positions, she might get one of those. Yeah. And, and you <laughs> would benefit, right? Very good. Now I wanted to narrow this and say, Yes. If we can make it sort of this is ours, you will not remember who brought how much. If you did your best, you should be happy. Right. Even if your best did not turn out being better than mine. As long, you're a team, so but, it shouldn't matter. Yes. The fact that if we have a pool and we are bringing in, we are bringing, we are happy at that time, you brought more, I brought all this. I tell you, me may notice something funny with the ladies. They will excuse many other things if you love her. Yeah. She will not even remember. Yeah. I know a lady who says, she gets the portion she needs for personal things and the rest is the man, oh, we are doing this, we are doing this. If there is unity and there is love, the woman will never, will even cover you out there. People Absolutely. will think you are the one doing everything. Absolutely. I've seen in vehicles, the lady is one having fair, but she gives the man to pay. Yeah. <laughs> in a smaller way, showing that, maintain your image, I don't mind, and no Absolutely. problem. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think for the solution for men is don't let your influence over the woman be money only. Mm -hmm. let there be love if you love her she will excuse many other things yeah if you're loyal to her and then the other thing is try be team yeah we must also want women who are taught by their some culturally they are taught you must have something by the side you can't trust a man you know you <laughs> can change escape, escape clause <laughs> Unajipanga. yes so you it's like you're not you're committed but you're not committed mistrust yeah partially committed that will poison the unity between the two of you. Yeah. And if you can't trust each other financially, sooner or later it will come up. Remember the top three breakup of uh, relationships? We have the sexual realm, then finances, and in-laws. Those top three. If you don't <laughs> manage them, money issues. Money is so much power. In-laws work at top three. Yes, because they interfere <laughs> so much. Yeah. You know what? I love that this we're having this discussion. More so, I love that these things are coming from a man. Because I, I feel like a lot of times also, wanaome wanaona tunawonea. But I think, as you've said, at the end of the day, of course, there are those crazy women out there. Let's not even. But of course, there are those women out there who we, we will need to have a separate discussion on that. Right. But as per what you're saying, you know, once you give a woman love, everything else is 
almost automatic right. right and so as as benjamin is saying she will cover you so men you know i, I guess the challenge is there there's there's something known uh, there's a book actually called love and respect mm -hmm. that all a man wants is respect and all a woman wants is love mm -hmm. but how does the man get respect from his woman by loving her mm -hmm. how does the woman give respect to the man by receiving that love like so you need each other At respect is not given it's commanded Mm. So if I love you, it sort of commands respect. Yeah. It, 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 the man should start. It's the man to show love. Anyway, in this pursuing, I'm wooing you. I'm, the more I love you, the more you come to. I think this guy is respectable. Mm -hmm. He's loyal. He's steady. I can count on him. He treats me, makes me feel good. That's how I win the respect. Sure. Love is given, but respect is earned. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, we're going to be back in just a bit. And uh, when we come back, we're going to continue with Benjamin Zulu. Uh, we're going to continue this discussion on dealing with rejection. Of course, our SMS line is double two triple nine. Please feel free to send in your feedback and your comments. I'll be happy to take them as we go along. In addition, you can also reach us on social media. That's at Switch TV Kenya on our Facebook page. I'm sure we have a post out there right now. And I'll also be sampling some of your tweets uh, at Trace Omundi. So with that, that said, stay tuned. We'll be back in just a bit. Karibuni Tena, this is Full Circle with Joyce with me, Joyce Mundi Wahiga, and my guest Benjamin Zulu, a clinical psychologist. This morning we're talking about dealing with rejection, specifically talking about how men can deal with rejection. And I want to shout out those of you who are watching and you've sent me your feedback, Asanteni Sana. I have uh, Nyamongo Dedan, you say hello, switch. This is Dedan Nyakundi. Say hi to Benjamin Zulu, a lifetime friend and brother, keeping it switch always. Unamjua, unamfahamu. Thank you, Dedan. Now, Mombia, I can switch Kabsa. I can have two villa, Mesema, keeping it switch always. Mm. Uh, Joe Katala Sante, you say you're all switched in and loving the show. I do appreciate you. Uh, some more here. Eman Jao, you say good morning, Joyce. You're watching us from Kayole, Asante Sana. Um, Kirinyaga, someone here says, is watching. Nyawira Wakogi, you say good morning. I'm locked in from Tol Reru. Uh, Steve Nyash, you're watching us again from Siaya County. Liam Hesborn, you say you're locked in from Bamburi, Mombasa. The the society portrays men as the tougher beings, but we got the feelings we tend to break at times. Rejection from a person you drowned in love to uh, tends to take time before healing. Very valid point right there, um, mm. Liam Hesborn. I think, and big up to you even acknowledging that, you know, men do face emotions and handling those emotions. And maybe that's a good jumping point off as we continue this um, discussion on how men can open up right mm -hmm. or, or or who who do you think they should turn to because clearly of course for a man you know an ego is important there's that manhood and it's okay right. i think women also just need to understand that's just the way you guys are wired <coughs> mm. right so how can a man sort of where where does he go what would you challenge men as far as where to go for an outlet what what is their outlet so that we don't end up with these you know violent crazy situations that we've been seeing on the news you're right and you have mentioned about the biases and you have said that men should be these, you know, tough, they are not emotional. First of all, it's men, let's acknowledge that that's wrong. It's not right. Mm -hmm. uh, we are emotional too. It's only that we express our emotions differently. One, a preacher T.D. Jakes wrote a book called He Emotions. Yeah. To say we are also emotional, but only that they are he type of emotions. But we are emotional. Where to turn to? I think the best for me, uh, I found professional help the best. Mm -hmm. See a counselor. This counselor can be a lady or a guy. D stop. You know, we have also been kind of stigmatizing psychology, thinking psychology is for those who have maybe mental illness. <laughs> Let me surprise you. Uh, in, 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 in my master's, we were supposed to do 25 hours of therapy. Therapy is that counseling. It's not that we were in a crisis, but part of our program was to process your issues. Now, in yeah. PhD, I'm doing 50 hours. I'm oh, almost you done yourself. with 40. Yes. Yeah. I'm already at the 40th. I've been doing the lady counselor and it's been so good. Mm -hmm. It's one space I can open and nobody will gossip about it. So I advise men, get a, a, a counselor you can trust. Number two, you can also get a buddy, a guy whom you trust and you can open up to. 
tell them that you feel down, you feel, you know, a part of why rejection is difficult for men is when they interpret it as a challenge to their masculinity. Right. Or as a threat to their position in the social hierarchy. Like that, uh, when you have a fragile ego, you interpret a relationship as kind of a territory. And when somebody is rejecting you, it's like they're taking away something that belongs to you. Mm -hmm. And although when women go through a breakup, they are advised to get over it. Men feel like they should get even. So although mm -hmm. ladies are trying to get over it, men are trying to get even mm -hmm. as though they were challenged, as though they were, you have had so many cases of femicide, people killing lovers who have, you know, uh, in the relationship and all that, or somebody who rejected them. Yeah. I think the best way is for a man, instead of reacting violently or thinking that uh, you can use force, the best way is to know that someday you come to acknowledge this as a near miss. You almost said to the wrong relationship. Mm -hmm. One day you come to appreciate it. So first accept that this is, uh, the rejection is actually real. Allow yourself to feel, but talk to a man whom you trust or a professional. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's get to some of the SMSs that are coming in as Anteni Sana to those of you who've sent them. Uh, Irene Kendi, you say good morning. Uh, thank you for your compliment. And you say you're watching us from Mombasa. Um, hi, Joyce. I'm enjoying the show today. Uh, thanks for today's advice. You don't leave me your name or where you're watching from, but Asante Sana. Uh, good morning, Joyce. This is Rachel from Chogoria. I love your show. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Let, uh, let me read this one. He Hello, Joyce. Um, you're looking great. Thank you very much. And the discussion is very healthy. Please ask Benja this. I'm a married man and I feel that my sex drive is higher than that of my wife eight months after the birth of our son, our firstborn. Um, should I treat it as rejection when she constantly denies me my conjugal rights or sometimes does it, but I feel there's no passion in what we are doing. Please help a brother out. Thank you there for your discussion. I mean, your question. So, um, Benjamin, what would you say to this gentleman right here? That happens a lot. There are several questions. How was the sexual rhythm before the child? So this is a guy I would advise to get a professional help to have talk more about this. But let's mention this, that after childbirth, many times there's fluctuation in women's uh, sexual drive yeah. or how much they can avail uh, themselves uh, for that, uh, for, for, for conjugal rights for the man. Um, if it's eight months, usually some people take time to normalize, mm -hmm. can be a year even. So how about them having a talk about it between the two of them? Right. or even with a counsellor, or, uh, or having somebody who can discuss with it. I wonder whether they have discussed it with a woman, where she, how she's feeling versus how she was, how she was before. If right. it was like that before the childbirth, then this is something that needs to be, there is need to be for an intervention, for them to find a rhythm. But if it was not like that, then this is surely tied to the childbirth. Okay. Number two, women's priorities change. Because now there's a baby who needs more time, who needs more right. affection, who needs more attention. She's not always as thinking about you as there was there before. So I think the best help here is to ask this guy to find a way where they can discuss this between the two of them and a counselor if possible. Okay, great. So he shouldn't just take it as rejection just yet. And yeah, we need to mention that men, times, a... treat, men treat no to sex as no to them. Yeah. Let's tell men that when a woman says no to sex, she's not always saying no to you. Yeah separate these things men don't t tend to separate them yeah. please i can i can almost uh, I, I have not talked to the lady but i can almost tell 90 percent chances she is not rejecting you it's mm -hmm. only that she's not ready for that or there's now something different right. or she also needs help to know how to uh, you know to 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 flow Okay. Yeah. Another question here. Good morning, Joyce. I'm enjoying the show from Roy Sambu. I have a question. I'm dating this guy who keeps swearing that he can never let me go to an extent of being violent when I bring up the topic. Like last month, I had traveled up country and we had a misunderstanding. I told him we break up. When I came back, imagine he carried all my belongings from my house to his. Wow. Um, I feel like if it happens, I leave him. He can harm me. What can I do? Wow, this is clearly someone who's mm. afraid, like, mm. of rejection, but in a in a very negative and unhealthy way. Something I posted on Facebook actually said that that if a man tells you that he cannot allow you to leave him, be very afraid. Yes. These are the men who are saying they have the three attributes. One, they have the fragile ego. They, they have hypersensitivity to rejection. Mm. This lady, uh, whichever name she is, uh, let's, so Lady A, let me tell you, this is, this is not about you and it's not about love. Mm -hmm. Please get this clearly. It's not that he loves you so much. It's because himself is internally so insecure and fragile and there was so much going on in, the, in his life before you came that he has to possess 
And this, these are the kind of people who can actually do drastic things. He's capable of hurting you. Mm. What I would advise this lady is, the way to break up this guy is not to, is not to tell him directly, let's break up. You have to be tactful. If possible, get the profes a professional's help. It's been so unfortunate recently when you hear people, you know, just broke up like that and the man was unable to, so he hurt the lady. That's unnecessary. Yeah. You can tactfully get over this relationship, but if you are very tactful and get the help of a, of a wise person. So that's a dangerous relationship. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even advise the lady to stay in it. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, okay, so she, if she's tried to leave before, she should just sort of make sure she be has tactful some people now. around her. Get another person. Yeah. Do it in a tactful way so that the man is helped. If possible, uh, he can get help, but many times he doesn't think he has a problem. Yeah. It's the girl who needs how to navigate and get out of his life. Okay. Many times you have to block and disappear from his world. So please be wise and please be careful as you as you go about that because clearly um, the brother there does need some potential help. Potential violent. Yeah. He's potentially um, violent, yeah. Another question here before we wind up. Uh, hey Joyce, I'm Amo. I have I have passed this, <laughs> but most women now need providence. Kama utamwambia hauna hela, the next time anakwambia we si class yake, how can I beat this? So, emo amesema hii amepita, hii si shida yake, but anaulizia for a friend. So, this is part of what we were talking about earlier. So, here is a, as far as like women in provision, um, and here is a guy who, you know, apparently there are men who are actually told that you see class yam too because you don't have money in that. Joyce has said to a point to say, we have two categories of women. We have the women we are talking about, the sober, the home builders, the wife, Mati, who are looking for a genuine man for a genuine relationship. Yeah. Those men, uh, my friend, is this Aimo, whoever? Aimo. Aimo. Please stop dealing with this kind of women. Those are not wife material, so to speak. Mm. If you're looking for long term, a woman who puts money first is not good for long term. It's true. You want a woman who puts love first. Yeah. Loyalty first, genuineness first. Now, as long as you're not BD, you're doing your best, she will, she will be okay with you. Absolutely. So that woman who tells you, you're not my class, thank you. Cla be happy you have avoided disaster. <laughs> Go on and look for a, a, a true kind of a, a woman. Absolutely yeah. true. Because you know what? In your wedding vows, <laughs> even if she says she wants to marry you because of your money right now, but in your vows, you're going to say for better, for worse, in yeah. riches and in poverty, yeah. till death do you part. So, right. you know, do yourself a favor and just tell her it's been real. With that said, thank you so much, Benjamin, for Welcome. being here. As always, thank you for your feedback. Can thank I you guys for your comments. How to get in touch? Sure, very Facebook, quickly. Facebook, Zulu Benjamin. That's my Facebook. Email is ZuluBenjamin at gmail.com. Perfect. All right, guys, we're going to take a short break. But when we come back, Wanome, we're still on you guys. We're still going to try and help you out. And uh, we're going to be talking about dressing, presentation, and manners for the modern man. Stay tuned.